Hi Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your August 2020 Cartomancy reading. Um, Cartomancy is the art of reading the regular playing cards. So I got these cards as a gift from a lady at the hospital in downtown Kingston, the Hotel Do. And when I was there and I got talking to her and and she had all these cards, eh? And uh, so I told her I was a reader. And she gave me four different decks. She gave me the Klimt deck uh, of uh, the Golden Tarot. Uh, she gave me this deck, which is all the masterpieces of the Renaissance periods, like by Gauguin and Rembrandt and all those guys. And then she gave me two other decks. The, the other deck I might use too, it's called the, I can't remember, I don't want to say it wrong. But the really cool pictures on it. I love the pictures. So anyway, Virgo, let's get going on your reading. Also, I'm going to take a card from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit card by Kim Kranz. Wonderful cards. And um, they're very different from the tarot, though. And they're based on the five energies, water, earth, fire, air, and ether, which is spirit. So, very interesting. We're going to take one of those too. So, what do we got for my Virgos today? Tell me for Virgo. August 2020, Virgo. You see a lady in a fancy hat. I don't know if that means anything for you. Lady in a fancy hat. Could be wearing black. Okay. Could be wearing black. Tell me from Virgo. August 2020. Virgo. August. Oh, there we go. Ha. Huh. Ten of diamonds. That's a time card. Ten days, ten weeks, ten months. I would say ten weeks probably since this is like a 30-day month reading. 10 weeks at the most, I'm saying. Probably 10 days. So some sort of, you know, something financially coming to conclusion for you. you this is, could be money that you've been waiting for, um, a settlement or something. But anyway, 10 of diamonds, security, happiness. So that tells me they're ready to cut. So I lay down seven piles and I go around three times so there's three cards in each pile. And I lay the cards down face down but right side up so that I give the most positive reading. Glass half full kind of thing, you know. So, oh, I got to take an animal spirit card. I almost forgot. So, for Virgo, tell me for Virgo, what's the animal spirit message for Virgo, August 2, that's it right there, mm. August 2020, I'm tempted to take that one too, it really wanted to come, when they want to come, you know, so what do you got here, you have the lamb and the mouse, I should say the mouse and the lamb. You got the mouse first. The mouse and the lamb. So let's have a look. I don't, I'm just learning these cards. I don't know them. And like I said, they're completely different from tarot. So I've got to look. And I noticed that they're both earth. They're both earth. So let's look up the mouse first. There it is. Oops, I did have the lamb. It did have it. So next, there it is. Okay, I'll hold that page too. So the mouse. I'll hold it up for you so you can see it. Detail oriented, a small minded, nitpicky, and nervous. Um, the mouse has an innate desire to tend to the details. 
It spends its days fixing, preparing, organizing, and scrutinizing. Unfortunately, a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far. Soon they begin to have a limited and fearful vision of life and try to control every detail. This can be quite a painful experience for both the mouse and those around them. Um, it says, step back for a moment. It may be time to find a more purposeful project to delve into, one that's worthy of your exacting eye. So uh, the homework is a meaningful project, a meaningful project. And then the lamb is peaceful, prophetic, and patient. The lamb is the bearer of an important message. Its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Though the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Approach this gentle creature with the utmost patience and reverence. Truth is a gift. Sit still, listen, and receive. And the homework here says meditation and listening. So it was talking about a deep, quiet stillness, you know. So very, very nice, very nice, combined with your 10 of diamonds, you know. Um, so, hey, where you are now, at the present moment, Carmela, stop. Shush, that's enough. I'm going to pause it for one sec, because she's going to bark and bark. All right, so where you are now at the present time. Ten of hearts, seven of diamonds, five of spades. There's another ten there, eh? You could be moving. If I see the ten of clubs, it's for sure. Um, hmm. Talk about details and finishing a project. It looks like there's some things coming to conclusion here. Um, there could be the end of a relationship or something concluding. You might be uh, like, um, I don't mean you're, you're ending a marriage or anything like that. You could be moving out from somewhere where you've stayed for a long time. Maybe your parents' place. I'm not sure. Um, it, it's see, it, um, I think it's what you want to do, but you're worried about what you will lose if you do it. All right. So coming in. Huh. The lady in the fancy hat. Nine of hearts, eight of diamonds, queen of spades. The queen of spades is usually, I see her as the single woman not by choice. Separated, divorced, widowed perhaps. Um, sometimes she's, you know, um, scorned, the woman scorned, you know. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't have to mean that. She could also be... Um, someone that has very dark eyes a very dark eyed woman this could even be you virgo um there, uh, there's some sort of happiness you're hearing about some some someone's happiness i think this is going to make you happy um news you're getting it could be about um something financial like i said you could be moving um This is going to make you happy, this news you're hearing. You could be hearing it from this woman, too, or it could be to you. Um, this is this is emotional fulfillment. Like This is what you've wanted. You're hearing what you've been waiting to hear kind of thing, okay? So on your mind, 
you have the four of clubs the five of hearts and the three of diamonds um Uh, okay, so I kind of get the uh, a feeling that you want to spend some money. You want to treat yourself, I'm thinking. Something good has happened here. You got both the Nine of Hearts and the Three of Diamonds. Both of these are wish cards, like a happy event. Uh, things are coming true for you. Um, this, I think this is, you want to spend money. You want to treat yourself, but you're you're afraid to or something you're afraid to my advice is just don't go crazy you know just um uh don't get things that are unnecessary perhaps you know that's the that's a good idea but uh it's really nice to treat yourself when good things happen. Why shouldn't you? Um, but it's like you want to, but you keep holding yourself back. All right. Um, then this is your work or career or your achievements pile. And you have the Queen of Clubs, the Six of Clubs, and the Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Clubs, hey, is usually a brown or hazel-eyed woman. Um, and the Queen of Diamonds is a green or gray-eyed woman. Now, this could be males, too, okay? Um, <clears throat> sometimes I see the Queen of Diamonds as older. She's, an, she's older or, or the elder of these two. Um, You could be going on a trip with someone a little a little uh, weekend away or going somewhere um, together with this woman. Also, I kind of see. Um, Hey, 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 hey. You might be doing something going in together on something, like um, some creative venture working on something together, um, like something creative. I don't know what it is, but um, you're try you're, you might be taking a class together or um, you're jointly involved in something you're working on together. Okay. And this is your exterior influences, Virgo. And you have the three of spades, the jack of spades, and the ace of clubs. Um, this is how others see you or are influencing you. Now, it says there's an obstacle. There's some sort of trouble. And it could be with your new home. Or this new, uh, this is something brand new. To me, a lot of times, this is the home card. Um, or it could be something back home, okay? Now, if you are moving, if you are buying a home or something, I'm going to tell you, don't worry. Because almost every time I have bought property, a house, something, there's been some sort of delay uh, with the lawyer or the bank or something. It's never with the buyer or seller. It's always the, the machine. Anyway, it's almost predictable. So expect it. Don't get all upset. It's just a delay. There's just, uh, there. it could be something to do. I'm wondering with the water, if there's something to do with the water. Um... Like maybe the well's dry or something like that. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so in the foundation. Two of hearts, the eight of clubs, and the two of diamonds. So I can see there's been a lot of meetings and a lot of talk here. 
okay? Uh, you've been meeting with the bank. You've been meeting with um, perhaps friends. You're doing, it looks like you're doing a lot of networking. You could be on the phone a lot, um, trying to, you know, the details. Details, details, details. This is what this is down here. The details, okay? And and be careful you don't get burnout because sometimes that can happen in these deals and you run around going crazy and um, nobody else is. They get you spinning, you know. Uh, it's so stressful sometimes buying or selling. But anyway, you, you're doing, I think you're making a lot of calls and, and, and going to the bank and going to the lawyer's office and talking to a lot of people about this woman is going to help. This woman is really helping you in this uh, situation. You could have a female um, lawyer or um, sale. I think she... I don't think she's at the bank. I honestly don't. I think she's an advisor of some sort, perhaps, if it's not you, Virgo. But it said you need really some peace, too, and that you need to listen. Listen. Because you're doing a lot of talking. I'm not saying that you're doing all the talk. I'm not saying that. But there's something here you need to hear. You need to hear okay um in your surprise pile another eight one two three three eights um in your surprise pile you got the two of spades the eight of spades and the three of hearts um there's some sort of separation you are separated from someone. I don't think you talk to them anymore. Okay. And I think this has bothered you. I think you want to have it out with them or talk to them or get it out, whatever it is. Just, you know, uh, I think you could miss them. They could miss you. Um, it's probably one of the best things you could do is uh, you could face each other somewhere along the way, but I get the feeling you're not you're not talking right now, right? And it could be over some silly little thing. And as soon as one of you reaches out, I think it's going to be fine. Okay, I think it's going to be fine. So. Wow, Virgo, there you go. You'll have to let me know in the comments if this means anything for you. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button and share and subscribe. It's all free and it helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. Oh, uh, the move to the farm has been delayed a month. Well, till September 1st, there was a delay there for me. Um, long story, but... I move in September 1st instead, so uh, so we got another month at the trailer. <laughs> I can rough it. It's all right. We're good. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.